Um, me llamo Esteban Cassidy. Um, good morning, my friends. My name is Stephen Cassidy. And this is our commissioner and, and friend, Amada Robles, um, who will be Buenos doing- Buenos good morning. Who will be doing the translation for me. Um, I'm going to speak briefly. Voy a hablar brevemente. And then let's just open it up to questions. Y vamos a abrir para preguntas que tengan. Um, and present here today also is Kathy Ornelas. También tenemos presente a Kathy Ornelas. She is our community relations representative. Es la representante de las relaciones de la comunidad. And she's the person that can really get things done for you. Y es la persona que puede hacer algo uh, suceder. Um, because she helps people in the community interact with City Hall. Ella ayuda a la, la comunidad a hacer contacto con, la, con los, las personas que trabajan por la ciudad. And, um, you know, and assists me greatly in making sure that questions that you have and points that you want address, to be addressed are handled timely. Ella me ayuda a mí asegurar que las preguntas que ustedes tienen se pueden, um, que puede responder a esas preguntas y problemas. Um, and also, I'd, I'd like to uh, thank Rene Mendieta for coming today. Rene is a uh, commissioner here in San Leandro as well. Y también uh, presenta al señor Rene Mendieta, que también es, uh, serv sirve en una comisión de la ciudad de San Leandro. What, what commission? What are you and um, Kathy's phone number. El número de teléfono de Kathy is for community relations. Es para los servicios de relaciones de la comunidad. And um, he, he, uh, oh, we have. Ella va a distribuir una copia oh, para todos ustedes. Yeah, uh, Mario y Azul. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, I want to speak briefly about the city. Quiero hablar un brevemente acerca de la ciudad de San Leandro. Um, one of the major challenges that we have had. Una de las um, challenges. Uno de los obstáculos. Um, has been our budget situation. Es el, el por supuesto de la ciudad. Um, the city, because of the recession. Por la recesión y Actual, uh -huh. has had to um, cut back on various services and programs. Hemos tenido que recortar servicios y programas. Um, what's positive, lo positivo, is that our budget situation is improving a little bit. El, el por supuesto, está mejorando un poco. And um, we're not using our reserve funds as we were previously. Y no estamos usando nuestras reservas como hemos, como lo se han usado um, anteriormente. Um, and that's good because if you use all your reserve funds, then you have to make even more dramatic budget cuts. Y eso es bueno porque si no se usan las reservas, se tienen que hacer más cortos a los servicios. Um, so we want to preserve the level of police, our level of fire our parks, our libraries. Queremos mantener el nivel de servicio de los policías, de los bomberos, de los parques y de otros servicios. However, I, we are still in a difficult financial situation. Pero aún estamos en un, una posición difícil uh, con el por supuesto. And we're not in a position yet. Y no estamos todavía, todavía en una posición that we can restore some of the programs that have been cut over the past several years. Que podemos uh, regresar los programas que hemos tenido que cortar en, en años um, pasados. We're also working to try to bring in more economic development to San Leandro. Estamos trabajando para poder traer más recursos económicos a San Leandro. To create quality jobs. Para crear más uh, trabajos and also generate more revenue for the city y también hacer más dinero para la ciudad <coughs> through our sales tax and property tax por medio de los impuestos de ventas y de propiedades and that then helps us provide services to the community y eso nos ayuda a proveer servicios a la comunidad 
Um, but you know, I'm interested um, in hearing your questions. Yo estoy interesado en oír sus preguntas. And one of which, is, one question I have for you, Una pregunta que yo tengo para ustedes, is how can the city interact with the people of San Leandro better? ¿Cómo puede la ciudad hacer más, um, puede comunicarse mejor con la ciudad, con las comunidad? How, how can we listen to your concerns? ¿Cómo podemos escuchar los, las, uh, preocupaciones que ustedes tienen and respond, y responder a esas preocupaciones you know, in particular for our Spanish speaking community. en particular para la comunidad que habla español. Yeah, San Leandro es una comunidad muy diversa. Uh, large of, uh, San Leandro es una comunidad muy diversa. Tenemos una población grande de latinos and also, um, Asians. y también de uh, personas de Asian, no sé cómo se dice. Yeah. Asiáticos. Yeah. Um, and of course, African Americans and uh, Caucasians. Y también afroamericanos y americanos. Um, we are one of the most diverse cities in California. Somos una de las ciudades más diversas en California. And I want everyone to feel welcome. Y quiero que todos se sientan en casa. And I Bienvenidos. Want, and I want our city hall to be responsive to the entire community. Y quiero que la alcal Alcaldía sea responsiva a la comunidad latina. Um, so with that, um, why don't I open it up to questions? Con eso quiero abrir a ver si hay alguna pregunta. Uh, sí. Buenos días. Mi nombre es uh, Ricardo Díaz. Soy uh, uh, presidente y fundador de Faces Active in Sport Foundation y la Liga de Fútbol de San Leandro. Sorry. That's okay. Um, this is Ricardo Díaz. Now I have to. Sorry, <laughs> change gears. Next time will be a story. He, he <laughs> is the uh, president and founder of the Faces and Activity and Sport Foundation of San Leandro. And también el presidente de la Liga de Fútbol de San Leandro. And also the president of the San Leandro Football Soccer League. Sí. Y quería saber, yo he tratado de hacer una cita con usted alrededor de seis meses. I'd like to know why for the past six months I have attempted to make an appointment to speak with you. Y, y esta es mi oportunidad para decirle lo que he estado esperando. And this is my opportunity to tell you what I have been waiting to tell you. Tenemos, tenemos en nuestra comunidad latina participando 600 niños. We have in our community participating 600 children. No tenemos ninguna ayuda del distrito escolar. We don't have any uh, support, financial support from the school district. O, o de la ciudad de San Leandro. Or from the city of San Leandro. Lo que, único, lo que nosotros estamos pidiendo o trabajando. What we're working towards and asking for es crear un programa para la comunidad. Is to create a program for the community. Uh, no más con el apoyo de ustedes para crear, uh, para impulsar a nuestros niños al deporte. With your support so that we can encourage children into sports. Okay. And, uh, ya se me olvidó lo que tenía que decir más cosas. Si gusta hablar en inglés, puede hablar en inglés. Sé que, que habla inglés. I'm sí. telling him that he can speak directly in English. <laughs> Because sometimes English. I forget. That's, that's fine. So, no, está bien, está bien. Uh, quería ver porque el programa HAL que ha estado no ha estado trabajando con las comunidades. He would like to know why the um, program PAL that had previously been working with the community is no longer working with the community. Como en las otras ciudades como San Lorenzo. Like in San Lorenzo. Uh, I helped them to build the same uh, the same program. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Go ahead. Uh, I helped them to build the same program for the children. Uh, they call uh, DSL for uh, Sheriff's Department Soccer League. They're, they're, they're everything free for the kids, only for San Lorenzo. But uh, I was there for two years just helping them to build the league. And um, they're, everything's free. But I want you to do in our community in San Leandro, because I live in San Leandro for 14, 15 years. And I've seen all the changes. I've seen a lot of people are trying to help the community, but, but it doesn't work. It. I don't know why. Uh, our, our, 
our league or whatever, we started three years ago. We started with 40 kids. Now we have uh, 600 kids, and I have records for every single kid. I've been, I've been working with uh, uh, San Leandro Unified School District, San Lorenzo Unified School District, and uh, Hayward Unified District. Uh, and uh, uh, um, right now, our, our kids, if they don't get money, they don't pay for it. Coming in and do sports. And we do like fundraiser or whatever for the kids. And this is my opportunity to talk because I, I've been trying to make an appointment. That way you can do the first kick, but they, they were telling me you work only as a part time. And it's hard to find my mayor if he works part time. You don't have no schedules, nothing. It's like, and then when I see the flyer, I'm gonna tell, tell my wife and my coaches, that's the time I'm, I'm gonna go myself. I could bring all my kids and have everything full right here. And you'll be surprised, like, wow, it looks cute with the uniforms, all the little ones. But I don't want to do that because I don't want to take somebody else's space. Because a lot of people have a lot of questions, and I don't want to take their questions for me. Sorry if I speak okay. too much, but that's, that's, no, that's I, uh, it. Sh sh uh, thank you. Uh, um, you know, in terms of uh, setting up an appointment, I, I can't tell you exactly what happened. In, in terms of setting up an appointment, I can't explicar qué es lo que pasó. Because I do meet with people regularly. Porque sí, uh, tengo citas con personas en una base regularmente. Um, but I'll have to go back and talk to my secretary. Tengo que hablar con mi secretaria. Um, but maybe, unfortunately, something fell through the cracks. Pero desafortunadamente, quizá algo pasó y uh, impidió eso que pasara. But I, I apologize, because that should not have occurred. Uh, me disculpo con usted porque eso no debería de haber pasado. But please give me your contact information. Pero por favor, deme su información para poder contactarlo. And I assure you we will set up a meeting. Y le aseguro que vamos a, a, a citar un, una junta. To talk about your program. Para hablar sobre su programa. And we can bring in uh, uh, persons from our Recreation and Parks Department. Y podemos traer personas del, Depar del Departamento de Recreaciones a esa cita. And you know, discuss the issues further. Para discutir uh, este programa más con más detalle. I mean, there may be ways that the city can assist. Puede, puede ser que haya maneras de las que la ciudad pueda ayudar. That could make a real difference. Que puede ser una di diferencia. Um, and there also may be um, activities that would cost the city money. To support you. Y puedes que uh, puede ser que si sí haya algunas actividades que cuesten dinero que la ciudad pueda ayudarle. And we have to discuss that further. Y podamos discutir eso más a detalle. Because unfortunately, our budget situation. Porque desafortunadamente con el presupuesto actual. Is still very tight. Está todavía muy uh, recortado. And um, we're not. Unveiling new programs. Y no estamos abriendo nuevos programas actualmente. We're just trying to keep what we have currently. Estamos tratando de mantener lo que tenemos actualmente. At the same time, a la misma vez, we want to be innovative. Queremos ser creativos. We understand that the needs of the community change over time. Entendemos que las necesidades de la comunidad cambian. And so the challenge is, how can we meet those needs? El El problema es cómo poder, uh, um, cómo podemos solucionar, solucionarlo con la situación actual. In a time of strained financial resources. Con estos tiempos de recursos medidos. But I assure you, we'll, we'll set up a meeting for next week. Let's talk after. Pero le aseguro que vamos a hacer una junta para la semana próxima y vamos a hablar sobre eso. Okay. Gracias. Uh, sure. Um, and it just... You know, the one difference between San Leandro and San Lorenzo. No, primera diferencia entre San Leandro y San Lorenzo. It's San Lorenzo's part of the county. Es San Lorenzo's parte de la, del condado de Alameda. So their programs are different than what we have here in San Leandro. Los programas de ellos, de ellos son diferentes a los programas que tenemos en San Leandro. But I don't want kids in San Lorenzo. Pero no quiero niños en San Lorenzo. To have better opportunities than kids in San Leandro. Que tengan mejores oportunidades que los niños de San Leandro. So, so let's talk further. Así es que vamos a hablar sobre eso. Okay. Um, are there um, otras preguntas? Otras preguntas? Me <laughs> <laughs> recuerdo un poco de español. Qué bueno. <laughs>
I don't know if I should say this in English or Spanish. Uh, I could. Well, why, why you, if you're okay saying in Spanish so that everyone can. Okay, that's just to make sure. Okay. Uh, Ahorita estoy mirando que mucha gente, yo soy, yo, yo vendo real estate. I sell real estate. Y mucha gente está perdiendo sus casas. And a lot of people are losing their homes. Aquí en San Leandro. Here in San Leandro. Y muchos están para perder sus and casas. And many are about to lose y, their y homes. Y muchos uh, están pagando a uh, agencias. And a lot of them are paying agencies. Para que le ayuden a mantener su casa. To help them keep their home. Un señor uh, que lo miré que fue mi cliente de 1995. One of my previous clients from 1995. Uh, pagó ya casi cuatro mil dólares. He's paid almost four thousand dollars. Y no ha recibido ningún resolución. And he hasn't received any resolution. Yo creo que hay más familias en San Leandro y por todo el condado. I think there's more families like that in San Leandro and the county. Que tan que y y es, y es posible que esta agencia. And it's possible that this agency. Lo está cobrando sin que, y no es legal. Is charging them and it's not even legal. It may not be legal. May not be legal. Um, so, so lo que quiero saber si hay la posibilidad de so que la like ciudad know, if there's a possibility that the city puede hacer y, y, y que la ciudad también trabaje con otras ciudades del condado and that the city can collaborate with other cities in Alameda County para, para hacer un, como un anuncio protegiendo estas familias to make an announcement that would protect these families y que el, y que el abogado de, de, de San Leandro and that the attorney, the city attorney for San Leandro revise las reglas can uh, review the rules le, la, le, o las leyes the laws que para, para anunciar a, las, a los hispanos uh, that would que be es, announced to the Hispanics que es legal y que no es legal. what's legal and what's not legal uh, porque muchos todavía because es, es, many uh, still y, y, y si uh, uh, pero eso es mi en español eso se me hace más difícil pero eso es al, algo un poquito urgente porque um, that's something that's very fam, urgent muchas familias because a lot of families eh, 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 los bancos uh, saben que los latinos muchas veces son muy uh, calmados uh, because los, the banks know that the people are very calm Hispanic people the Hispanic people are very um, Probably not calm. Passive. Passive, yes. And they take y, advantage. Y, y si, uh, lo, lo, so, so, es la, figurar un modo de podemos ayudar más. so we need to figure out a way that we could help more. Y posiblemente ya es, mi mente se vino que con el, el, la comisión de social services. And it came to mind that perhaps maybe the human services commission. Possible. Could help. Okay. Um, what exactly is the issue? Is are these agencies that are claiming that they'll help people that are in foreclosure? ¿Cuál es el problema exactamente? Esta agencia está ayudando a o dice que está ayudando a familias que están para perder sus casas. Sí. Lo que pasa es que muchas veces. Many times. Uh, what happens many times, the families are um, desperate. Tienen, tienen no han la casa. They, have it, they have money because they haven't made their mortgage payments. Pero es para but that money is for emergency. Y, pero los como abogados, and agencies o, or lawyers o or companies Saben que pueden decirle a esta gente they know that they could tell these people que hay alto prob probabilidad, that, probabilidad that there's a high probab uh, probability de que le pueden salvar la casa that they can save their house pero eso no es seguro but that's not for si sure creer que es, they make them believe that that's y, the truth a pagar. and they start to pay y, y el señor que, que acabo de hablar él pagó como dos mil quinientos tres mil y ha pagado cien dólares cada mes and the, the man that I spoke to has started paying $2,500 and $100 a month since, since then. And now he's, he's up to $4,000 and he's yeah. at his limit now. No. He hasn't seen any results. 
si la ciudad hace un servicio que, que le pueda cobrar a los a la gente como un tipo de fee, has the serve, if this, posiblemente if this, la ciudad puede ser el servicio más eficiente y más honestamente, possibly this, pero no estoy, there no sé, porque eso es algo muy, to the that, uh, muy complicado. Yes. Otra idea que se, Another me, idea. Que se um, me uh, cayó. I, this is a real issue um, that unfortunately is happening throughout California. Este es un problema que está actualmente ocurriendo en todo el estado de California. I mean, there's unethical business folks. I call, I, um, negocios sin éticas. And lawyers. Abogados. Um, that are preying upon people. Que están uh, tomando la ventaja de gente. That are in financial difficulty. Que están en, en situaciones difíciles económicas. Um, and it, it's, it's unfortunately, the, es un, es una, es, es desafortunado that this is not an issue that the city is well equipped to address. Que este no es una situación que la ciudad está bien uh, en una posición para poder ayudar. We need the assistance of the county district attorney. Necesitamos el apoyo del de la um, district attorney del condado and also the California attorney general's office y del, del abogado general del estado de California because they have the power to file a lawsuit and take into court the, ellos tienen el, el um, poder de poder uh, poner una or know, file a lawsuit uh, the, I don't know how to say lawsuit um, demanda. una demanda uh, con el, a nivel del estado para poder uh, hablar sobre esto. Um, and they have a consumer protection bureau. Y tienen una, un servicio que apoya y protege a los consumidores. I, I will look into this further. Puedo mirar, puedo... Um, uh, tomar esto bajo más consideración. But I think the best thing Pero creo is if we can connect the people in San Leandro that are affected. Si podemos hacer una conexión con las personas de San Leandro que están afectadas con esto. With the district attorney's office. Con el, la oficina del district attorney. Or the attorney general's office. O del attorney general en el estado. Um, and I'll, I'll follow up with you on this. Y puedo hablar con usted uh, acerca, acerca de esto. I mean, we can ask our city attorney to find out what the programs are. Podemos ayudar, podemos pedirle al abogado de la ciudad que offered by these other agencies. Que, uh, que hable con las personas que están encargadas de las otras agencias. On this particular issue. And es, sobre este tema. It's just, it, it's unfortunate. Es muy desafortunado. But the city cannot provide all services that um, Pero la ciudad no puede proveer todos los servicios que on, son necesarios. On all issues that affect the people of San Leandro. En sobre todo los temas que afectan a la ciudad de San Leandro. For example, our city government does not have a health department. Por ejemplo, la ciudad no tiene un departamento de servicios um, Salud. De salud. Thank you. Yeah. But, Take a translation. Sure. <laughs> but those services are provided at the county level. Pero esos servicios sí son proveídos por medio del condado. Um, and this is another area where we don't have a consumer protection bureau. Y esta es otra área donde no tenemos un, una agencia que protege al consumidor. But I, um, but I do want to connect our people Pero sí quiero with, con a nuestra gente with the appropriate other agencies. Con las gentes apropiadas de las otras agencias. And if you uh, want to give to Kathy the particular names of these individuals, if, y, if y you si care usted, to. Y usted, si usted gusta darle los nombres a Kathy de estas personas o de estos individuales personas a Kathy. Um, we'll convey that their names to the appropriate authorities. Nosotros les damos eh, los nombres de ellos a las autoridades apropiadas. And we'll also try to work to publicize y también uh, vamos a trabajar para publicar this issue este problema 
and, and and the government agencies that are responsible for addressing it. Con las otras agencias del gobierno, gobierno que están que son responsables para de, de hablar sobre este tema. Uh, últimamente, uh, gracias por la esta oportunidad para que la comunidad hable con usted. Uh, I'd like to thank you for this opportunity for the uh, community that can to speak with you. Y también sobre el, el Mi preocupación es uh, también que, que ciudades como San Leandro, Hayward, uh, Oakland, que también platiquen para figurar una solución más uh, común que se puede usar de, de, todo, el, also, de todo el área del condado. En regards to my issues, in my issue, I'd like to, um, part of the solution would be for the other cities like Hayward, Oakland, uh, to collaborate together to address this issue um, all Para together que no sea solo in union. El gasto de San that way that the, the, the expense for San Leandro is shared with the other cities. Thank you. Uh, y hacer una cita and I'd like to make an appointment with you as well. Okay. 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 Por supuesto. Okay. <laughs> y que me tengo aquí porque and excuse me that I have to leave. Mi La llanta de mi hija se ponchó y la my daughter had a flat, flat tire and has to go take care of that. Okay. Okay. So it's good. Gracias. Adios. Adios. Yeah, um, my name is Leo West and uh, I'm also from Latin America. And well, we all, Latin America, are not all the same and don't have the same interest. We don't have our same interest in our own country, so even less here. So what I want to talk today, <coughs> this actually is something that really affects the city, and the city can do something about. Uh, when I walk the, the streets of the city, I see crews of people who don't speak any English doing the job on the streets. They have a, a foreman who is bilingual, and uh, he gives them the orders in Spanish, and they do the job. There are, there's 12% unemployment in the uh, Bay Area. There are millions of people without work in this country. And these people who are illegal in this country do the job because they come cheaper for the benefit of corporations, contractors, or whatever. And uh, what happened is that there's a solution, and the city can implement the e verify federal program. The city of Escondido in California has already implemented that program. The e verify you don't have to trust me that I'm telling you that they are illegal, because many times I'm told, well, how do you know they are illegal? I know, but that, that's not the point. The point is that you can verify. He verify any contractor who gets jobs with the city should be uh, given the list of workers to be e verified where they have the legal right to work in this country. There's a law that actually only allows residents and U.S. citizens to work in this country. And that's how U.S. workers gain. That's something that a U.S. worker won and should be defended. So the city and city council can actually implement the E-Verify in San Leandro and get the U.S. citizens and legal residents jobs. El señor, um, usted gusta West. decir eso en, en español o sí. quiere que yo lo traduzca? Bueno, uh, mi nombre es Leo West y uh, yo soy de Latinoamérica y todos los latinoamericanos no somos iguales, ni tenemos los mismos intereses, ni en nuestros propios países tenemos los mismos intereses todos los mismos, mucho menos acá. En lo que respecta al asunto de hoy, que yo vengo a plantear, es la cuestión de que uh, 
en San Leandro, cuando yo camino por las calles, veo cuadrillas de obreros que no hablan nada de inglés. El capataz les da las órdenes en castellano y es el único que es eh, bilingüe y transmite las órdenes en castellano para que hagan el trabajo. La mayoría de esta gente, yo estoy seguro, son ilegales, pero ese no es el punto. El punto es que la ciudad puede hacer algo. La ciudad de Escondido implementó ya el programa federal de E-Verify. El E-Verify es un programa que verifica que el trabajador tiene residencia o es ciudadano de este país, que es un requerimiento para trabajar en este país. Hay 12 millones de, de <coughs> hay dos, más de 12 millones de desempleados en este país y hay un 12% de desempleo en el condado de eh, Alameda. Y acá el trabajo no se le da a los ciudadanos y residentes legales. La ciudad puede implementar, como implementó la ciudad de Escondido, el programa E-Verify, que obligaría a los contratistas a eh, verificar que sus empleados tienen derecho legal de trabajar en este país. Y eso ampliaría... Mr. West, I, I think we got it. Okay. Um, the bottom line is, this, for any city employee or anyone that the city contracts with, we're under an obligation to verify that they are an American... United States citizen. La situación actual es que para la ciudad de San Leandro, cualquier ciudad, estamos obligados a verificar que... Or, 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 yeah. Could, can you repeat that? I'm sorry. Or, or register... Or we have, are under uh, an obligation for any job that we hire out for that the workers are either resi uh, American citizens or registered. Estamos obligados de... de Uh, verificar que los uh, que cualquier obligación o cualquier contrato que tengamos con la ciudad están registrados a, a como un residente legal o como un ciudadano de este país. Cuando yo cuando yo uh, cuando yo me hice alcalde de esta ciudad, yo también tu, tuve que dar prueba de mi residencia legal. Um, now, and this extends to individuals that are working on contracts with the city. Esto también incluye a los empleados de las de los uh, compañías que están trabajando con contrato con la ciudad. Now I don't know whether the city uses this e-verify program that you've mentioned. No sé si esta ciudad usa ese programa de E-Verify que usted menciona. But Kathy's taking notes. Pero Kathy está tomando notas. And we will talk to our facilities and engineering department. Y van a hablar con el departamento de facilidades y en, de ingeniería. And we have your email address y from tenemos earlier su, correspondence. Tenemos su uh, información de contacto de su correspondencia. And we will follow up and respond directly to you. Y vamos a responder directamente con usted. And if we don't use the e-verify process, y si no usamos el sistema de e-verify, we'll explain the process that is used. Vamos a explicar el proceso que estamos usando actualmente. If I fix it, we have no control over other companies that don't work for the city. No tenemos uh, control sobre otras compañías que no trabajan por el, la ciudad de San Leandro. Yeah. Okay. Um, Um, yeah, my name's uh, Randy, and uh, Mi nombre es Randy. And I, I was here. Uh, I've always lived here, and I've been Siempre here when, aquí. when they had the old library. Y viví aquí cuando and, tenían la, el, la biblioteca anterior. And when the old li library was uh, tore down, they threw away a lot of old books. Y cuando cuando cerraron la previa uh, biblioteca tiraron muchos libros and one of the books that I was reading before they threw it away y uno de los libros que yo leí antes de que lo tiraran was the history of the missions in San Leandro era un libro area. de las de la historia de las misiones 
en el área de San Leandro. And it was interesting because it said that the king of Spain y era interesante porque decía que el rey de España sent his envoy mandó su, su to tropa, San Leandro, sus tropas a San Leandro and the envoy wrote back y el mensajero escribió that the horses that he talked about everything that the, the missions, the money they made, what they grew. They, so the king wanted to know if they were making any money. Y el rey quería saber si estaban um, haciendo dinero. And y the, le, le escribió explicando de los caballos the, y del trabajo que hacían right, aquí. And the envoy said that they were doing this and doing that. But one of the things the envoy said. Y una de las cosas que dijo. Is that the horses. Que los, dijo que los caballos. That came out of San Leandro. Que los caballos. Caballos que salían de San Leandro. They sent them back to Spain. Los mandaron a España. And the king of Spain. Y el rey de España. Said after he evaluated the horses. Que después que les hizo una evaluación a los said, caballos. Said that they were the bravest war horses. Que eran los Spain, caballos más. Uh, uh, brave. Bravos. And they, they could run all day without water. Que podían correr todo el día sin agua. Because at Valientes. The, in those days, the horse was like high tech. Porque en esos días, los, yeah. los, los caballos eran como high tech. <laughs> and uh, for, as far as war weapons. Como, como um, uh, armas de guerra. And one of the reasons why the horses were so brave. Una de las razones que eran los caballos because, tan valientes. Because we have grizzly bears here. Era porque aquí teníamos osos negros. It's our state. Bears. It's our state. Osos. It's our state flag. Grizzly. Como los que están en, en la bandera del estado. And the horses here had to put up with the grizzlies. Y los caballos aquí tenían que poner que uh, afrontar los osos. Which Europe doesn't have. Que no existen en Europa. And they had to call the, the herds. They had to kill off the other horses to keep the herd down. Y tenían que matar a los, a, a los uh, caballos opuestos para, tener, para mantener los números pequeños. Right, with the, that big spear like they have in the, the bullfights. See how they have those, that big... Con, con, los, uh, they would, con los mismos... Uh, they, they would, and so the palos que te que usan en las en los pele en los um, toreas de 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 uh, toros. And they were so when they were sent back to Spain. So cuando los regresaron a España. They were sent right into big battles. Los mandaron a las guerras uh, en es. And they never Spain. seen anything like it. Y nunca habían visto algo como eso. And that's the history of San Leandro. But I wish we could kind of. Y eso es la historia de San Leandro acknowledge something like that y because que pudiéramos reconocer we, eso. we are a big sports Raiders uh, 49ers we have, we're very vibrant porque somos muy uh, aficionados en los deportes de como los Raiders y 49ers. 49ers y necesitamos esa historia and that's the only thing I want to say y es lo único que quiero decir <laughs> Well, well, thank you for sharing that history. Gracias por compartir esa historia con nosotros. It sounds like a great book, and maybe you can bring it back to the library, and they'll, they'll take it. Uh, uh, nos, me parece que es un libro muy bueno, y quizás pueda regresar That's ese. That's lost. They, they destroyed all these old books. Yeah. And, and well, dice que esos libros fueron destruidos. In, in terms of sports activities. Pero en términos de actividades de deportes. Um, I mean, there's. You know, we want to provide many opportunities here in San Leandro. Queremos dar muchas oportunidades aquí en San Leandro. And in particular, the city is working with the school district. En particular, la ciudad está trabajando con el distrito escolar. On developing um, what's called Burrell Field. En um, estamos tratando de um, de cre recrear el Burrell Field. And the um, uh, sports and the. Um, Complex. Yeah, it's called the Pacific Sports Complex. Y el Pacific Sports Complex, mm -hmm. el um, Centro de Deportes Pacific. Yeah, so the playing fields and the football field. La, el, la cancha de, de football and, y de deportes. And there's going to be over $15 million. Y va a haber más de 15 millones de dólares. To improve the whole facility. Para hacer um, 
mejoramientos en esas áreas. This is off of Marina Boulevard. Um, cerca de la de Marina Boulevard. And so we're going to have a, a brand new football and soccer stadium. Vamos a hacer un estadio nuevo para fútbol y fútbol soccer. And we're also um, the school district will also be improving the facilities near John Muir Middle School. Y el distrito escolar también va a hacer mejoramientos a los uh, where I'm sorry. The John Muir. Uh, cerca de la escuela John Muir. And the city will work with the school district on that as well. Y la ciudad va a trabajar en conjunto con el distrito uh, escolar sobre eso. Okay. Otras preguntas, uh, señor. My name is Julian. I'm an employee of the uh, San Leandro School District. I don't like to be a problematic person. The reason that I'm bringing this concern to you. In my house, my vecino tiene un árbol que mide aproximadamente. 50 pies. And my, my neighbor has a tree that measures cuánto? A redwood tree that measures in excess of 50 feet. Around the 50, yeah. And el 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 error o el bien de él fue que lo pusieron en la pura esquina que da a mi casa y toda la basura se me viene para acá tanto a mi casa como a mi casa. The corner of their property and all of the debris and the leaves from the tree uh, end up in my yard. Okay. And I, I never um, can finish with cleaning up. And, the, and uh, you've talked to your neighbor and it's, there's no... Hablado con su vecino sobre eso. Casi nunca se ve, es una persona muy seria, incluso me ha sumado del alto de, del fence de mi cerco, me asomo para su casa y se ve que nunca limpian en esa casa, he parece que está lleno de ratas. He says that that's not a very well kept home, he can tell by getting, <coughs> looking over the fence that uh, there may even be rats. Incluso mi carro se ha dañado dos veces, se, ha, se lo han comido las ratas. My car has been damaged twice because the rats jumped and they attack his car and he puts poison on the rats. And and the, same the same thing happens to my other neighbors. So the tree is right in the middle. Pardon. Um, actually, Kathy, will you come and describe the mediation, sir? Let, let me describe. Voy a describir. Or I'll ask Kathy. Le voy a decir a Kathy que ella lo haga. We have a. There's a program that the city helps send neighbors to that are have disputes to try Ten, to resolve those disputes. Tenemos un programa que ayuda a vecinos resolver problemas. Um, Kathy, could you describe? The service is called mediation services. El servicio se llama servicios de um, mediation. Uh, don, como mediación, no sé. Um, they, they bring neighbors together to try and solve ellos, problems. Ellos traen a uh, los vecinos juntos para tratar de juntos resolver el problema. Um, I, I'm going to write down their email app or their website address. Ella va a escribir la um, la dirección del internet para que pueda conectarse por medio del internet con este servicio que es disponible. And if you give us to Kathy your name, your phone number. Y si nos da su nombre y su número de teléfono. I also want to. Um, contact the service and make sure that they in turn contact you. Yo también quiero hacer contacto con el servicio para ver que ellos se comuniquen con usted para tratar de resolver este problema. But what if a, maybe not this particular neighbor, but what if a neighbor has lots of trash or they're violating ¿Qué pasa city si un vecino codes? tiene mucha baso, basura o problemas de esa manera que pueden hacer? The city's neighborhood preservation ordinance La, and our weed ordinance Los, las reglas que tiene la ciudad acerca de la preservación de la propiedad can address any violations that are visible from the street. Puede, puede hablar sobre cualquier uh, um, can be seen from the street. Que se puede ver de cualquier um, 
algo que no está cuidado, que es obvio de la, de la calle, que sea, que se puede, que está visto de la, de la calle. Ellos pueden um, hablar sobre eso. Sí, pero en este caso, el, yo no sé. In this case, ¿Quién tendría que hacerse responsable de esto? I don't know Porque who's responsible for this. Al dueño de ese árbol, no, me imagino, no le importa o no le afecta because nada. Because the owner of that tree, it does not care because you could tell because of the condition that the yard is in. Él lo puso en la pura esquina. He put the tree right in the corner. Pegado casi a mi fenso, pegado al, al fenso del vecino, pegado al otro fenso del otro vecino. It's, um, el aire trae toda la basura It's right up against the fence and the air brings all the debris over into the other. Las ramas están secas, parece the que branches tiene ya are dry. las ramas. So the, se the, the tree is damaged with termites. Las raíces están levantando todos so los the roots fences, are, are lifting the fences. No podemos tener una planta, no podemos We can't have nada. a plant or anything. Yo en mi patio no tengo tierra, no tengo zacate, tengo puros breques. Arreglé todo porque me gusta la limpieza. In, in my yard, I don't have any plants. I have all bricks because I like to have everything neat and tidy. Y no, no puedo, no tengo tiempo para and estar barriendo tarde because I can't be, I don't have time to be cleaning the yard all the time. Yo sé que al tratar de comunicarme con este con el vecino and o decirle, él no le va a importar porque él no le afecta he's not going to care because he doesn't no quiero perder care about anything I don't want to waste my time. Es un vecino que muy callado que ni dice hi ni dice he nada. Hi no le importa. Nada. He doesn't care. Con estos me llevo muy bien, tratamos de comunicar. The other three neighbors are very communicative Ellos and they get along very well. Estamos igual, mejor agarramos la escoba y barremos y barremos. Instead, what we do is we get together and we clean. Sabemos que casi nadie va a escuchar y no va a hacer nada. It sounds like a very frustrating situation. Parece que es una situación muy con muy mucha frustración. We want to we want to avoid problems with the neighbors, and but it's a it's a very very heavy case for us. Okay. Please give Kathy your name, your address, and your phone number. And if, if we could speak afterwards. And if we could speak afterwards. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Senor, other questions? Senor, other question? Two questions. Do you have a program? Does the city have a program? Does the city have a program in um, that helps? Perdón. To open a, a new small business for Hispanics that want to open up a new small business. Um, I do not believe that we have any program centered on. Hispanic small businesses. No tenemos uh, de que yo sepa ningún problem, ningún programa que ayuda a la comunidad, específicamente la comunidad latina de abrir negocios nuevos. We have a business department that helps businesses get established. Tenemos un departamento que ayuda a, a negocios que se establecen los negocios nuevos, pero no específicamente para la comunidad latina. Um, and we have individuals in the department that do speak Spanish. Tenemos individuales en el departamento que hablan español. Um, and you know, appointments could be set up to speak to those individuals. Y podemos hacer citas para que usted pueda hablar con personas en ese departamento. But is, um, is there a business that you wish to establish or is this a... Um, Hay un negocio que usted quiere establecer? Yes, but I wanted to know. Yes, but I wanted to know if there's a specific department that helps with um, financial support or other kind of support to get a business off the ground. That it's we have a business development department. Tenemos un departamento de um, para establecer negocios. And if you give us your phone number and name, si nos da nu su nombre y número de teléfono, we'll, um, um, we'll connect with Kathy afterwards. Kathy puede, si lo puede dar a Kathy después, and we'll assist you ella, ella le puede in dar connecting with these individuals at City Hall. Para que usted puede hacer conexión con estos individuales que están en el departamento que él mencionó por la ciudad. Is that only for businesses or also to buy um, property? 
Um, I don't know the exact answer no on that. No sé la, la respuesta I mean, exactamente. In terms of permitting and getting a business going, that's what its focus es, is on. El, el foco, el, en, ellos se enfocan en establecer permisos y todo lo que es acerca de establecer un negocio nuevo. But they also have information about various properties that Pero are available in the city. Pero también tienen información sobre propiedades que están ahorita actualmente disponibles para nuevos negocios. And sometimes can connect you to brokers también pueden hacer una conexión a otros um, individuales que le pueden ayudar con eso. También hay la administración federal para a, a nivel nacional que le puede ayudar con eso también. Did you have an, another question? Otra pregunta. Dijo que eran dos. Oh, two together. Yeah. Oh, or uh, also assistance for um, the elder community. Uh, well, through our recreation and parks department, we ha we offer many programs for seniors. Por por medio del departamento de uh, parques y recreaciones hay programas específicamente para las uh, para la comunidad de la tercera edad. But are you interested in programs specifically for uh, Latino seniors? Está usted preguntando. Yeah, he said regarding the senior center on East 14. If there is a monthly fee or can the, Latin, the Hispanic community uh, not pay the monthly fee? Well, there's, for most, there's no fee to enter the, the center. No hay cuota ni, ni um, tarifa para entrar al centro. No, pero los eventos son de la ciudad o son personales. Are the events for the city or for... The cost is a little high for the Latin community. Okay, well, I... There's different programs and some of them do have fees. Hay yes. diferentes programas y algunos sí tienen precio, cuestan para entrar. But I think in terms of specific feedback, Pero creo que acerca de, um, uh, sus comentarios específicamente, if, if we get your information, si podemos darle información a usted, and then maybe we can facilitate a conversation quizá podemos, uh, ayudarle a facilitar una conversación with the person that operates for the city, the senior center. Con la persona que está encargada y opera los, todos los programas de los servicios de la comunidad de la tercera edad. And, and you could share your viewpoint. Y así puede usted comunicar su, uh, su uh, información con esa persona. And, you know, some programs are offered at a discount. Algunos programas, programas son ofrecidos a precio con descuento. Other programs are charged based upon the cost of putting on the program. O do, otros programas cobran acerca de lo que cuesta para, para hacer ese programa funcionar. But we'd be glad to get further feedback from you. Pero podemos, estamos muy um, dispuestos a tomar más uh, de su opinión. Okay, thank you. Gracias. Randy, let me just go elsewhere first. Any other questions? Uh, yes. Um, it's not really a question. Uh, it's more of a, I don't know, an advocation, I guess. Um, so I've been a teacher in San Leandro here for 12 years. Me too. Julie also. And two years ago, there used to be field trips it would take to the San Leandro History Museum. Two years ago, the funding got reduced and they doubled the price, and last year the funding was cut, and so the field trips were canceled. It, number one, was one of the only or few local field trips in San Leandro that existed. Um, the field trip was just, it was incredible. It was a trip through San Leandro history, beginning with the Native Americans, through the missions, through the uh, Montrose, and then up through the uh, Oyster Pirates with Jack London. I actually think the parents learned more than the children did, and I'm just here to try to advocate to restore some kind of funding for that. Mary Beth Bar Logan Alley did an incredible job with it. It really connected the kids, our students, to their community. To the I think city. that's important to have kids that are connected to the city. You know, they made it so real for them and so uh, put it in perspective for them. It's a great lesson. 
Ellos son maestros en la ciudad de San Leandro y están aquí para, uh, para hablar sobre un programa que tenían anteriormente en las escuelas uh, primarias, en donde llevaban a los niños al, uh, al Museo Histórico de San Leandro y en ese uh, viaje los niños aprendían sobre la historia de San Leandro y dicen que uh, por, por razones del uh, presupuesto uh, tuvieron que primeramente cortar el nivel de la frecuencia de los viajes y luego el año pasado tuvieron que totalmente eliminar ese viaje y están aquí para ver si pueden regresar a ese programa a la ciudad o las escuelas de San Leandro porque es un, una experiencia que no solamente los niños sino los padres de familia también aprendieron mucho acerca de la historia de San Leandro y es algo que uh, enriquece a, a, a los niños saber sobre el área en donde viven, la historia que tuvieron, que tuvo esta área en años pasados. Um, yeah. <laughs> what, thank you, Steve. And, and what's your name? Julie Grajeda. Julie. No, uh, thank you for coming and, and mentioning this specifically. Y mencionar esto specifically. I mean, these cuts are very painful. Estos recortos son muy, muy dolorosos. Because um, each program has an impact in the community. Porque cada corto tiene un impacto en la comunidad. And this cut was made um, a couple years ago. Y este corto se hizo hace varios años. So I, I think now we're in two years of not offering the program. Ya son dos años que no se ofrece este program. Yeah. Este es el segundo año. And the city's budget is from uh, June 30th to July 1st. Y el, Por supuesto, de la ciudad es del 30 de junio al 1 de julio. And, the, and this was one of the programs that got discussed in terms of many council members wanted it restored, but it was not restored within the current fiscal year budget. Y este es uno de los programas que sí quieren regresar, pero no fue uh, regresado en este año fiscal. I mean, just to give you an idea. Para darle una idea. When we developed the budget. Cuando hicimos el presupuesto. Our, we were only in the black by about $200,000. No más estábamos en lo positiva con $200,000. Out of about a $74 million budget. De un por supuesto de $74 millones de dólares. So like every $10,000 or Así so. Así es que es cada $10,000. Became, you know, just to try to find more money for some things. Es, it became very difficult. Es muy difícil de tratar de hallar dinero para algunas cosas. We, we restored some money for um, our disaster preparedness program. Regresamos dinero al programa de aprevimientos de desastre. There's also a social service called 211. También hay un servicio social que se llama 211. Which connects people with services offered throughout the county. Que conecta a la comunidad con servicios que están uh, disponibles en, en el... <coughs> In the ciudad, so, in the county, in the county, in the condado, and th those were two programs that we put some money back in. Esos son dos programas que regresamos dinero a esos uh, presupuestos. But the history museum didn't make the, um, so to speak, the restoration. Pero list. el museo histórico no hizo, uh, uh, no llegó a ese punto de regresar dinero al presupuesto. But I'll, I'll give you my assurance. Pero le doy, le aseguro. That as we craft. The 2012-13 budget. Que cuando estamos haciendo el presupuesto de 2012 al 2013. I'll work as hard as I can. Voy a trabajar a lo más duro que es posible. As, assuming our budget numbers stay as is or improve a little Tomando bit. Tomando en cuenta que el presupuesto sigue igual como está ahorita o mejor. To restore money to offer the school field trips again. Para regresar dinero para que las escuelas puedan volver a tener este recurso. Because I believe it is very valuable. Porque creo que es muy valoroso. And, and in particular, as you mentioned, y como ustedes mencionan, it's a great way for all kids in San Leandro es una manera excelente para los niños de San Leandro to have a meaningful field trip para poder tener un viaje con mucha um, meaningful, meaningful. Uh, or substantial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But here in San Leandro, so it's low cost. 
Y aquí es en San Leandro, así es que el costo es bajo. Um, that, that, that's my assurance to you. Eso es mi, la aseguranza que les puedo dar. Um, is there at some point in the future, some place or some meeting or something where I could come again, or Julie and I, or parents who have been there, or students to come and advocate for this? I, yes. Se están ofreciendo a, a seguir a traer niños o padres de familia que pueden um, uh, hablar para dar un testimonio para poder asegurar que esos, ese dinero se regrese y ese uh, viaje se vuelva a realizar. We have a finance committee that will, in, in the future, start developing our 2012-13 budget. Hay un comité de uh, financiero que va a hacer estos tipos de evaluaciones para el 2012-2013. And also the city council has budget workshops as we develop the budget too. Y también las juntas de los concejales que pueden, uh, donde van a revisar los proyectos para el año siguiente. I, I can't give you a specific date no right now. Dar un, la fecha but, it, but it's a public process. Pero es un, un, um, es un proceso público. Um, and so you can look at our agendas. So puede mirar las agendas. And you can always come and speak. Y siempre puede venir a hablar. When we're talking about it. Cuando estamos discutiendo. But I'll follow up with you directly. Pero voy a comunicarme con usted directamente. And maybe we can have at one of our finance committee meetings. Y quizás podemos uh, tener en uno de las juntas del comité financiero. An examination of the cost of this particular program. Una examinación acerca del costo actual de este programa. And that would be a, a great time. Y ese sería un buen tiempo. For you to come and speak para usted about que viniera a hablar the value eso. of the program. Para hablar del valor de este program. Okay, and I'll follow up with you on that, Steve. Okay, thanks, Steve. Thank you. Uh, uh, Don, did you have a question or a point you wanted to raise? I just wanted to know what the cost of that program was. I, no, off the top of my head, no. It's probably 10,000, 20,000 tops. And is it something that we could partner with, you know, other? I just didn't, I had no idea that that was completely cut. Okay. I'd just like to be part of helping me figure out how to restore that. If, especially if it's that small amount of money, if there were groups that could join together to partner to make that happen. Okay. Uh, uh, Leroy? The Lions Club of San Leandro will be interested in considering at least be getting to sponsor uh, several features. Okay. We, we gotta we gotta get the museum open for um, and funded and and then it'd be great for the Lions Club then to help the individual schools or you know uh, if necessary help assist with transportation I mean the great thing about the museum is a lot of the kids can just walk to it from where their schools are um, and I, I fully believe you know believe in the value of you know um, studying, respecting our history. It helps build community, teaches us where we came from, where we want to go to. Um, yeah, they, I mean, these, you know, and these cuts hurt the quality of life for all San Leandrians. I'll come back to you right after. I have something else. Yeah. Um, my Spanish sucks, so I understand a lot, but I'm not, I, I, to speak publicly is uncomfortable for me. Um, but but we'll, first, we'll have I, I wanted a model to translate. Yeah, I know, you're great, you're awesome. Oh, thank you. Um, I, want, I want to um, really thank you for doing this, um, because I think it's important every time, you know, to have um, as many opportunities, especially for the Spanish-speaking and Latino community to speak to the city, so I appreciate that. Quiero darle las gracias por darnos esta oportunidad de hablar con usted. Es muy importante de que la comunidad que habla español tenga acceso a hablar con usted, y le quiero dar las gracias por eso. Um, and I, I don't want you to, you don't need to respond to my, what I'm going to say next, but it's just um, a comment or thought or whatever um, that came to me when uh, this gentleman was talking about the support to businesses, Latino-owned businesses, and helping uh, helping businesses come into being. Um, no, quiero, no, no tiene que responder a lo que voy a decir, es solo un comentario que quiero hacer que se me vino a la mente cuando este señor estaba hablando acerca de los negocios para los latinos. We have um, a Latino-owned business in this community, um, which is part, of, which is called the Ball Theater, 
And I just want to um, put my uh, strong support for the family that owns that company, that business, um, for their efforts in um, creating community. Um, and I have grave concerns for the type of attacks that have happened against that business and against that family. Um, and I would like to just, I wanted to just say publicly that I, I want, I appreciate the work that they are doing in trying to create a cultural uh, uh, business that brings in, that demonstrates or shares the adult diversity of our community. And that, um, you know, my hope is that the city will support um, what they're doing, which is bringing revenue, bringing businesses, bringing events, bringing people and bringing people together. Um, and I just, I, I, I know there's going to be other opportunities for me to do that, but I, I felt like this was a good place to, to share that and if this gentleman helped me remember that, um, you know, this is one of the ways in which we support our, our local family-owned businesses in this community. Tenemos un, un negocio en San Leandro que es un negocio que es uh, de una familia latina y es el Teatro Bal y quiero nada más aquí públicamente expresar mi apoyo para este negocio uh, porque han traído muchos eventos y han tratado de unir la comunidad latina y la comunidad de San Leandro en general y quiero también pedir que la ciudad dé apoyo a esta familia que uh, que no ha tenido mucho apoyo por medio de la ciudad y uh, porque han traído muchas cosas positivas a la comunidad y están haciendo, uh, tratando de hacer un esfuerzo muy grande para traer cosas buenas. Y este caballero que habló me recordó que de ese negocio que es, uh, los dueños son latinos y quería expresar mi apoyo y pedir a la ciudad que también dé su apoyo a este negocio que es de una familia latina. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And um, the city has worked with the owner of the theater to come up with a new um, operating license. La ciudad sí está trabajando con los dueños del Teatro Bal y están haciendo esfuerzos de tratar de agarrar un permiso nuevo para uh, business license, un, un, so. un permiso de negocios or, or nuevo, zoning permit. o un permiso de la zona which is very different from what they had previously. que es muy diferente a lo que tenían anteriormente. It allows live entertainment. It les da la oportunidad de tener um, entrenamiento en vivo. But there are restrictions Pero within sí it. Hay restricciones dentro del permiso. And my hope is y mi esperanza that this is a good compromise. Que es un buena, una, un, un buen acuerdo. And that the theater can be successful under this new uh, license. Y que el teatro puede ser uh, uh, or profitable. But puede tener, uh, puede ser, I, I'm sorry, successful. I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> Positivo, maybe? Or, what did you? Exitoso. Exitoso. Muchas gracias. Um, and let's operate under this new um, License. Y que pueda operar cerca, uh, um, abajo de este nuevo permiso. And see how it goes. Y ya vamos a ver cómo funciona. And if there's need to modify it. Y si hay alguna necesidad de hacer una modificación. In terms of the interest of the business. Uh, acerca del, um, de los términos del negocio. And also um, um, takes into account the interests of the neighbors and the community. Y también toma bajo consideración los intereses del, de la comunidad y de los vecinos. I'm certainly open to having that conversation. Estoy muy abierto a tener esa conversación. I mean, we want the business to be successful. Tenemos, <laughs> queremos que este negocio tenga éxito. Um, and bearing in mind y también to, uh, manteniendo en mente that there are some legitimate concerns within the neighborhood. Que también hay unas, uh, un, algunas cosas que tienen que ser consideradas cerca de los vecinos. And um, 
you know, and I, I hope we're making progress, and I want to see us make continued progress. Quiero que sigamos haciendo pro, uh, manteniendo un comunicación y haciendo progreso um, en estas discu discusiones. Discusiones. <laughs> so it's mejor en español que uh, inglés. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, and uh, Randy, yes. Um, yeah, I have another comment. Otro comentario. <clears throat> I'm a long time, uh, I've lived here all my life. He vivido aquí toda mi vida. And I see things come around, come around, and now the future's here, and, and I see the marina. Miro a cosas que están recurriendo, the marina's, recurriendo, y uh, ahora con la marina. I assume they're not going to dredge for the deep channel, and they're going to turn the marina into a small boat haven, you know, for small Mi entendimiento es que no vamos a hacer... Uh, Escarbar, pero vamos a hacer un negocio, um, what did you oh, say? Uh, a small boat, uh, uh, paddle con, boats. Con and... uh, um, barquitos chicos pequeños. Okay, now here's the history. Es que esta es la historia. When I was, uh, in 1960, I was a young kid. En 1960, cuando yo era un jovencito, un niño. And we were out at the shoreline trail. Y which, estábamos en, en, el, en la marina. Yeah, out there at the shoreline trail. And a Spanish woman came running up to me. Una señora española vino, se acercó a mí. And she said, y me dijo, that their boat overturned. Que el, su barco se había volteado. And there was seven people. Y que había siete personas. They drowned. Que se ahogaron. And there were babies. Y había niños, in, babies. And we, and me and my three friends, we pulled some of the people out of the water that drowned. Y yo y mis amigos uh, pudimos, logramos sacar tres personas que se habían uh, volteado en el barco. And they were all Spanish. Y eran todos españoles. And, and right now I feel that there should be a plaque out there at the Shoreline Trail. Y yo creo que debe de haber una, una placa. Just to let people know. Para dejar a gente saber that the water is dangerous. Que el agua es peligrosa. And if you're out there in a small boat, y que si están ahí afuera en barcos pequeños, it's only four feet of water. No más son cuatro pies de agua. But it can be dangerous. Pero puede ser muy peligroso. So there, then from then I'm thinking, I've seen other problems along the shoreline where people have died and, and He visto may, también otros problemas, pro, problemas I wouldn't mind seeing a a lifeguard for the shoreline trail. Me gustaría ver un salvavidas uh, marina, en esa área. Because they're unfunded in Alameda, they had a problem. Porque no hay recursos y en Alameda hubo ese problema. Where the police and the fire won't go out there. Donde la policía y los bomberos no entran al agua. And so if, uh, if history repeats itself. Así es que si la historia se repite. We, uh, we might still have more problems out there. Podemos tener más problemas en esa área. Well, thanks, Randy. Um, actually, you know, I mean, it's terrible about the tragedy that occurred. Es una tragedia terrible. Um, and, and we're aware of what happened in the city of Alameda. Y estamos muy al tanto de lo que pasó en la ciudad de Alameda. Um, however, our fire service Pero los bomberos que so, que sirven a esta ciudad is provided through the Alameda County Fire Department. Es provido por la Condado de Alameda Departamento de Bomberos. And they have a boat on a trailer. Y ellos tienen un barco en un trailer. Uh, at a fire station near the marina. En una, um, en una casa de bomberos cerca de la marina. And they can get it into the water. Y ellos se pueden meter al agua. In a matter of minutes. En, un, en una um, en manera de minutos. And actually, we had an incident. Y tuvimos un incidente. Maybe about two, three months ago. Hace como dos, tres meses. Where a woman apparently donde una mujer, uh, ap tried to commit suicide estaba de, uh, suicidarse by driving her car into the water para, para de su carro, uh, al agua. Uh, off of the marina. Del mari la marina. And our police department got there right away. Y la policía llegó rápidamente. And the police officers went into the water y los se al agua and rescued her. Y la rescataron. And we also were able to deploy our boat. Y también, uh, pudimos meter el barco to make sure that no one else was in the para car. Que nadie más estuviera en el agua. Um, so I, I feel that our police and our fire services are 
fully capable Yo siento que nuestra policía, nuestro servicio de bomberos son muy capaces of, of, of providing emergency rescue services de proveernos esos servicios at the marina and, and, en la at, marina and in the adjacent y en la área que lo, que lo alrededor. Well, you, you know that the windsurfers are coming in now too from Alameda how they have those windsurfers. Well, they're starting to show up out there at San Leandro Shoreline. It's, it's an area that nobody goes, you know, surfing out there or anything, but now that more population and, and small boat marina, you're going to have windsurfers. You might have more people. I'm just thinking that um, if we have an organized lifeguard or keep watch or something, you know. Okay. Well, uh, no, thank you for providing that information or that, that thought. And, I'll keep well, in mind is the marina before. actually going to close down for the deep water channel? Um, you mean is the dredging going yeah. to occur? No, the, the dredging, there's no plan for further dredging of the marina. And okay, no hay ningún plan para escarbar en la marina. And there's really two channels that need to be dredged. Hay dos um, canales que tienen que ser escarbados. There's the channel into the boat harbor itself. Hay el canal que entra al, al um, I don't know how to say, harbor. Harbor. Um, no. Puerto. <laughs> Puerto, gracias. And you also have to dredge under the, the berths of the boats. Y in también the, se tiene que escarbar debajo de donde están estacionados los barcos. I'll just make this real short. There's no money to dredge. No hay dinero para escarbar. Over a 10-year period, um, uh, en un tiempo de diez, en un término de 10 años, it would cost the city about $10 million. Le costaría a la ciudad 10, mil, 10 millones de dólares. And the only way the city was able to do that in the past, la, 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 una, la única razón que la ciudad pudo hacer eso en años anteriores, was the federal government gave us money to dredge. Porque el gobierno federal nos dio dinero para poder escarbar. The federal government has gone out of the dredging business for these marinas. El gobierno federal ya no está haciendo negocio en uh, escarbar para las marinas de, de ciudades locales. And this has always been the case. Y siempre ha sido este el caso. That the marina did not generate enough money to pay for dredging. Que la marina no genera suficientes recursos para poder escarbar. But we were able to do it through money from the federal Pero government. Pero lo pudimos hacer por medio del dinero del gobierno federal. That's over. Eso ya se acabó. So we have to develop a new plan. Tenemos que hacer un plan nuevo. I would love to be able to keep the boats and have the marina fully operating. A mí me encantaría seguir con la marina y a uh, seguir con los para que los barcos sigan. But it's just not fiscally sustainable. Pero no se puede hacer económicamente. And you know we have other needs as well. Y tenemos otras necesidades. Um, and it's and, and part of the problem with the marina. Y parte del problema con la marina. Is the need to dredge just it's not a one-time only expense. El el uh, El gasto de escarbar no es de solamente una vez. Se tiene que ser varias veces. Okay. Well, um, I'm not trying to show time, but... We're just about 11, 30, 11 Okay. Minutes. I wanted to respect your time. Quiero respetar su tiempo. So I'll take one last question. Una pregunta a final. Uh, but if anyone wants to say something to me afterwards, so... Si alguien quiere quedarse después, voy a estar disponible. And please make sure we have your contact information. I don't ever talk. Uh, my heart is beating so fast. I have to say something that uh, I was at a city council meeting about uh, a year and a half ago, uh, and and Harold and I heard them talk about um, paratransit. And one of the city council members said, "Oh, my mother rides the paratransit. It's wonderful." And the paratransit, um, we took it one day to go to the marina. Harold gave our car away 20 years ago because he said we're retired. Why do we need a car? And we haven't had to go to the gym or anywhere. <laughs> so anyway, um, that um, um, they they voted on giving all this money to the paratransit. I see I live on Dutton, and I see it go by with one or two people in. We took it one day to go to the marina to a movie because we have a hard time getting from Dutton to the marina without a car. And we thought, well, maybe the paratransit. She stopped. She had lunch. 
Uh, we were buckled up. You feel like a prisoner. And we got to the marina, and the, the movie was just starting. It was full. There was no place for us. So we said, we'll wait for the paratransit to pick us up and take us home. We waited two hours. That somehow they didn't stop there. Maybe it was an hour and a half. And then we had to go clear through a whole. I mean, if our kids aren't more important than old people, I mean, old people have done it. We've had our time. I mean, that, that historical museum, I bring all the people from the senior center in Berkeley, and they are impressed with our town because of that historical museum and the Casa Peralta came from the people. I, I know. Okay, what was your name? Darlene Wickstrom. Yeah, thank you, Darlene, for coming today and sharing your views. Okay. Well, again, thank you very much. Um, I intend upon making uh, Coffee with the Spanish Community an annual event. Um, and tell me about other opportunities to interact as well. Les doy las gracias que vinieron y voy a tratar de hacer este evento de Café con el Alcalde un evento anual. And I want to thank Kathy Ornelas for coming. Quiero darle las gracias a Kathy que vino. And our wonderful translator. Y Amada. a mí. <laughs> okay. My pleasure. Oh, and there's a book sale. Um, and, um, y hay una venta de libros enseguida. Oh, ahora. Ahora. Um, um, and they do have a Spanish language section. Y hay una sección de libros en español. Um, in the stage. The Spanish language is on the stage for adults, and then there is a section also for children. Arriba del escenario hay una sección de libros en español de adultos, y también hay una sección de libros para niños en español. Okay. Muchas gracias. Gracias. <laughs>